You guys know what we need? A state. For Jews everywhere. What? Who even are you? I am Theodor Herzl, and I think Jews should have a state in their ancestral homeland of Israel. Doesn't the Ottoman Empire control that region? They do. But we could start by returning there for now. And so Jews started returning into the land of Israel, or Palestine, whatever you want to call it. Oh, and then the First World War broke out. You know what you guys need? To attack the Ottomans. What? Who even are you? Don't you guys hate the Ottomans? Well, I kind of do. Listen, I'll give you a state. I'm listening. I'll give you a unified Arab state. Syria, Transjordan, the Arab Peninsula, it's all yours. Cool. During the First World War, in an attempt to weaken the Ottoman Empire, the British tried to incite the Arabs into a revolt by promising them a state in return. The revolt indeed took place and the Arabs successfully expelled the Ottomans from many territories. You know what you guys need? A national home. Finally! Okay, so we are in favor of giving you a national home in the land of Israel once the Ottomans are out of there. Cool. Okay, peace! You know what you guys need? To split the Middle East with us. I'm listening. So I was thinking once the Ottoman Empire is destroyed, we'll divide the Middle East like so. Aha! Uh -huh. What is this division based on? It is based on this line that I drew here. See the line? Yeah, okay, that, that sounds nice. Okay, then it's settled. Wait, wait, before you leave. You didn't promise the region to anyone else, right? What? No, no way. So the Middle East is partitioned between the British and the French and the Arabs don't get a state. Um, why are there so many Jews here? Relax, it's cool. We don't like this. I said it's cool. Hey, weren't we supposed to get a state? Hello? Are you ignoring us? So the Arabs revolt against the French, and the British see this and fear a revolt. So they block the Jews from returning into Israel. Wait, what? But you said we could have a national home. Relax. It's cool. We don't like this. I said it's cool. No, we don't like this. Okay, so Britain, I was thinking about what you said and I've come to the conclusion that we don't like this at all. Guys, guys, chill out. It's cool. We'll give you a state. Nice. Cool. It will be one state and it will be neither Jewish nor Arab. What? what? It will be like a mixed state. We don't like this. We despise this. Why are you always so vulgar? Why are you always so condescending? Why are you always so violent? Guys, guys, the Second World War just broke out. It did? Yeah, and now it's over. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, and the majority of the Jews in Europe were killed by the Nazis. Oh, no. But I guess the survivors could come here, right? No. No. But the Jews insist on being masters of their own fate so that nothing like what happened during the Holocaust can ever happen again. They illegally immigrate into Israel and their population keeps increasing to the Arabs' great displeasure. The British and the French slowly start to withdraw from the Middle East and new states are given independence. States like Jordan, Lebanon, Egypt, Syria and more. But what do we do with this troublesome lot? Hmm, maybe we should hand it over to the UN? The what? You know, the UN, the newly formed body that is meant to keep the peace? Oh yeah, the UN. Did someone mention me? Yeah, uh, could you fix this mess? Sure, okay, uh, yeah, we can divide the land uh, like this. Right. The Arabs get some, yeah. The Jews get some, nice. Everyone's happy. We're cool with this. We hate this. No, you just hate everything. No, we mostly hate you. So the British leave and the state of Israel is established. The Arabs immediately attack the newly formed state in what is known as the First Arab-Israeli War between Israel and all neighboring Arab states. Israel won the war and expanded its territory. This is a disaster. We lost so much of our land and a huge portion of our population has been expelled. Let's call it the Nakba. It means disaster, so you know that's a good name. Well, I guess at least we still have the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. Okay, so the Gaza Strip is mine now? Cheers, and I'll take the West Bank. What? What? So Egypt occupied the Gaza Strip and Jordan occupied the West Bank. And now the Palestinians control zero territory. By Palestinians, I mean Arabs who lived in the territory of Palestine, which was now mostly the state of Israel. 
The Arab states still view Israel as a continuation of colonial power and seek to destroy it. This led to tensions, which resulted in wars, like the Second Arab-Israeli War, also called the Suez Crisis, in which Israel conspired with the UK and France to attack Egypt. Stop the war. Don't tell us what to do. Stop the war or I invade Hungary. But you already invaded Hungary. Stop the war or I nuke something. What? I'll nuke you. Did somebody say nuke? Oh, I can't with these two. So the British had to end their invasion of Egypt and this solidified Egypt as the leader of the Arab world. It also weakened British and French influence in the region. Israel managed to occupy the Sinai Peninsula, but had to withdraw under US pressure. And then the Third Arab-Israeli War broke out. It's better known as the Six Days War, in which Israel preemptively attacked and soundly defeated all of its neighbors. Following this, Israel took over the West Bank, the Golan Heights, the Sinai Peninsula and the Gaza Strip. Whoa, Gaza, cool! Yeah, have fun. So now the Palestinians moved from being under Jordanian and Egyptian occupations into being under Israeli occupation. The Arab League met later that year to affirm the three no's. No peace with Israel, no recognition of Israel, and no negotiation with Israel. Oh hey, it's you guys. L long time no see, huh? Give us back our homeland. It's our homeland. No, you are foreign occupiers. No, we have always been here. No, we have always been here. And give us back the Sinai. Why? You just use it to attack us. No, we wouldn't. Okay, maybe we would. So will you give it back? No. So Egypt attacked Israel in what was called the War of Attrition. Its goal was to compel an Israeli withdrawal from the Sinai. Egypt, what do you even think you're doing? Last time we absolutely obliterated you. What's going to keep us from doing the same? Ooh, hi there, Soviet Union. How's... Uh, uh, who's the chairman nowadays? It can't be Stalin anymore. It's not Stalin, right? Is it Khrushchev? No, wait. It was Brezhnev. It's Brezhnev, isn't it? Hey, Jordan, remember how you lost the West Bank to the cursed Israelis? Yeah? Well, you suck. I, I, I don't quite follow. Get out of here. Jordan is also Palestinian, so it's ours now. Do you know who you're messing with? So a civil war broke out in Jordan between the Jordanians and the Palestinians. The Palestinians lost and were expelled from Jordan into Lebanon. Oh wait, Israel hasn't been at war for some time. But don't worry about that, because Egypt and Syria attacked Israel in the Yom Kippur War. The war started out strong for the Arabs, but again ended in an Israeli victory. So, I'll support the Israelis. Fine, I'll support the Arabs. <laughs> That's cool. Just don't nuke anyone, huh? <laughs> I won't nuke anyone if you don't. Alright. Or actually, I might nuke someone if Israel does. Wait, what? Heck, I might just nuke someone for the fun of it. Oh no, you don't. I'll nuke someone first. Oh, don't make me nuke you. Guys, guys, you can stop fighting now. This is getting out of hand. Okay, fine. So can we keep the Sinai? No. Will you stop trying to destroy us if we gave it back? Hmm, we might. Interesting. So Israel gave the Sinai Peninsula back to Egypt in exchange for peace. Um, Lebanon, hi. We'd appreciate it if attacks against us stopped coming from your territory. Look, this is a difficult time for us. We're kind of in the middle of a civil war here. We don't really care. Free Palestine! Stop it! Freedom! Stop it! So Israel invaded Lebanon in order to stop the attacks coming out of its territories. It succeeded in driving out the Palestinian organizations from the country, but the power vacuum allowed another militant group called Hezbollah to rise, so that wasn't so good for the Israelis. Ugh, I hate you guys so much. Stop being so negative. You stole our lands and forced us under an occupation. Stop trying to kill us and we won't have to occupy you. Stop stealing our lands. Even as we speak, you're building illegal settlements. Who says they're illegal? Everyone! Right, except for us. That's it. Time to riot. To attack. To free our homeland. And I'm here too. Please don't. Stop. Stop! That kills people. I said stop. And so the first intifada broke out. Israel attempted to crack down on it, but the attempts weren't entirely successful. So the intifada ended with the Oslo Accords. What are the Oslo Accords? Well, basically... Okay, so I recognize that you exist. Fine, I too recognize that you exist. 
And I also recognize that I should negotiate with you. I too recognize that we should negotiate. So let's negotiate. Sometime in the future. Cool. I'll give you some self-governance over your West Bank and the Gaza Strip. Nice. Just so you know, our population hates this agreement. Yeah, ours too. So much so that the Prime Minister has been assassinated over it. You don't say. Yeah, but at least he managed to make peace with Jordan before that happened. Oh, nice, congrats. Thanks. Still hate you guys, though. Would you two just make peace already? No. Nah. Please, just come over to Camp David. We'll figure something out. Fine. How's this deal? It gives the Palestinians pretty much everything they've asked for. It does? Let me see. No, it doesn't. No deal. Come what? on. Hate you guys. Oh, by the way, are you trying to take over Al-Aqsa Mosque? No. Yes, you are. Time for another uprising. Oh, come on. And that's how the second intifada started. It was a bloody affair that included suicide bombings from the Palestinian side and a hard crackdown from the Israeli side. Okay, 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 stop it. Stop it. We just want peace and quiet. Will you leave us alone if we withdraw? Really? You're going to withdraw? Yes. So you're leaving Palestine? No. We're only leaving the Gaza Strip. What? But that's not nearly enough. Whatever, bye. And so Israel unilaterally disengaged from the Gaza Strip. That decision misfired, however, because Hamas, which was designated as a terrorist organization by Israel and various other Western powers, took over power in the Strip. Israel responded by blockading the Gaza Strip. Hey, Hezbollah, take this. Okay. Ouch, hey, what are you doing? We hate you guys. Iran, are you supplying Hezbollah? We also hate you guys. Okay, now you're gonna get it. And so, in order to remove the threat posed by Hezbollah, and in response to a Hezbollah raid on Israeli territory, Israel invaded Lebanon once again in what was called the Second Lebanon War, or the July War, or the Israel-Hezbollah War, whatever. Anyways, Hezbollah is also designated as a terrorist organization by Israel and more Western powers. So now it's time for Israel's favorite game. Name the terrorist organization. Ugh, I hate this game. Which of these two is composed of Palestinians? Um, I think it was... Too slow. It's Hamas. While Hezbollah is anti-Israeli, it is not Palestinian. Oh, I actually thought they were both. Next question. Which of these two is composed of Sunni Muslims? Sunni, I think... Uh, was it... Too slow again. It's Hamas. Hezbollah is made out of Shiite Muslims. Uh, right, I, I really don't care. Last question. Which of these two is supported by Iran? Was it... Um, was it Hamas again? Wrong answer. Both organizations are supported by Iran. Uh, I hate those guys. Hate you too. Remove the blockade. No. Remove the blockade and be gone from this land. No. Hey, hey, you can't fire indiscriminately into civilians. We can and we will. And that's how Operation Hot Winter started. Lift the blockade or die. No. Lift the blockade and die or die. What? Hey, hey, don't fire at us. Free Palestine. And that's how Operation Castlet started. Some call it the Gaza War. Would you please lift the blockade? No. Would you please be gone from this land? No. And here we go again. And that's how Operation Pillar of Defense started. Why did you attack us? Because you kidnapped and murdered three Israeli teenagers. Because you didn't lift the blockade. We're not lifting the blockade. Fine, fine. And that's how Operation Protective Edge started. Leave Al-Aqsa Mosque alone. We're not doing anything to Al-Aqsa Mosque. Then lift the blockade. No. Then be gone from this land. No. And that's how Operation Guardian of the Wall started. And so, as you can see, the region is peaceful and conflict will soon be resolved. Trust us. We got this. I hate you guys. I hate you too. And I also hate you guys. I hate you too. I hate all of you. You guys want to make peace? Sure.